Hi. In this video, I am going to show you how you can add a Helton Fanquil thermostat to Fibaro Home Center in Z-Wave Network. Before doing that, let me define two words. Inclusion means adding Z-Wave device to Z-Wave Network. And exclusion, it means removing a device from Z-Wave network or from Z-Wave gateways. Let's start. Using Fibaro Home Center, we can put the Home Center into inclusion mode, a mode that the Home Center gets ready to add devices to it. We go to devices and add or remove devices here at add device section to add a device you should click on add if you click on add the controller or the home center goes to inclusion mode for 30 seconds and you can change this time like this let's go to the thermostat here we have the thermostat. By touching this button, the climate mode of thermostat is changed. By touching mode, the modes, the operation modes of the thermostat are changed from, for example, here echo to comfort, to off to comfort, and to Time. Comfort is used when we are at home and the air conditioning system uses its maximum power. Time mode. At this at the thermostat, we have four scheduled time for each day of, of a week. And they are morning day, evening, and night. And we can define the times for each of these scheduled time and define their set point temperature. By touching a speed, we can control the speed of the fan web from low to medium to high and auto and off. Here in the bottom left corner of the display we have the set point temperature. In the top left corner of the thermostat we have the temperature of the environment. And in the middle we have the humidity of the environment. This is the light sensor installed in the thermostat and the temperature sensor and humidity sensor are installed inside at this part of the thermostat. By pressing and holding the setting button for three seconds, the menu setting is displayed. By changing the mode and the speed, we can go to different settings. In the top left corner, the indication of the parameter is displayed. In the middle, the number of the parameter is displayed. And in the bottom left corner, the value of the parameter is displayed. And uh, so we can go to different parameters by using speed and mode. And we can change the menus by touching minus and plus. This is how we change the settings of the display manually. When uh, this, the settings of the thermostat manually. 
when the thermostat is added to a Z-Wave network, we can change them using home center or Z-Wave gateway. Okay. In the right, the bottom right corner of the display, you can see a sign of antenna. When the thermostat is not added to any Z-Wave network, only the antenna sign is displayed. And if it's added to any Z-Wave network, the strength of the signal, Z-Wave signal, is displayed beside the antenna sign. This is the time of the thermostat. It can be set manually or by gateway. Let's include this thermostat to fewer homes. For inclusion, we have to put the gateway into inclusion mode and the thermostat into inclusion mode 2. By touching and holding the setting button and going to parameter 17. Network. We can include and exclude this thermostat from Z-Wave to a Z-Wave network and from a Z-Wave network. Okay. ECL here means that this device is not included to any Z-Wave network. On the home center, I click add. Now the home center is in inclusion mode for 40 seconds and is ready to add Z Wave devices to it. I go to the setting of the thermostat to parameter 17 for including this device to Z Wave network. We should touch plus. It's now being included. And uh, when the inclusion is completed, in the bottom left corner of display, INC is displayed, which means this device is included to Z Wave network. Okay, now we go to devices page, the thermostat is added, this device is the main device of the thermostat and in Z-Wave it is called Parrot and the others are the children of the main device. Okay, by using this item, we can change the set points. Here I click on 21. 21 is set in thermostat. This is the temperature of thermostat. This is the light sensor, as I told you, it's here. And this is the humidity sensor. This device, by using this, we can change the operation mode of thermostat to auto, which means comfort, energy saving is echo, and mag. Actually, I made mistake in off thermostat is off. Auto thermostat is in time mode, energy saving is in echo mode, and maximum operation mode is in comfort. You can see as soon as I click in each of the items, here the operation mode is changed. By clicking on the wrench icon, here the setting of the, uh, the device is appeared and I can change the name of it. Do anything I want here, I write operation. 
and by clicking save is saved. This one, by using this, we can control the speed of bankway from off to medium, auto, high speed, low speed. By clicking on the range, this the setting of the device is open and I change its name to high speed. This device, I really don't know what it does. Uh, I leave it here. Using this, we can change the climate mode to heat, cool, auto, and fan only. And you can see that in auto, this item is displayed, cooling is activated. Heating is activated. Uh, I change its name to Diamond. Okay, let's go to parameters of this device. In Z-Wave network, we use numbers as parameters to change the setting of any device. And these parameters can get some numbers, and the numbers have different operations and all of these parameters and their values and their definitions are written and described in the manual of device. For changing the setting of the thermostat as I told you we have to go to the setting page of the parent device. We can change the name of it to thermostat. By going to advance at the bottom of the page here we have add parameter. If you click on add parameter this display is appeared and number section you can write the parameter number for example, parameter number one. Here, data type is chosen, whether it's one byte decimal, two byte decimal, four byte decimal. And in the manual of the device, it is written that the parameter number one is one byte decimal. Here we can insert the desired value we want. Parameter number one defines the degree of the thermostat. By default, it is set to one, and one means centigrade. We can change the parameter using either the thermostat or from the home set. I press and touch the setting button. I touch and press the setting button for three seconds. I go to parameter number one. It is Celsius. By touching plus or minus, it is changed to Fahrenheit. If I leave the thermostat untouched for 10 seconds, the setting is set. 
and the normal mode of thermocyte is going to be displayed and active. Okay, now the temperature is shown in Fahrenheit. Here in the manual, it is said that parameter number one, if the desired value is one, it is centigrade, and zero means Fahrenheit. I write one, I click save. I select zero. Yeah, I made a mistake. Zero means a centigrade and one means Fahrenheit, and the default is zero. Parameter number two is used for temperature calibration. Whenever you realize that this temperature is not the real temperature of the environment. Uh, we can use parameter number two to calibrate it. Parameter number 16 is a very important setting. Whenever we use Fibaro home centers, by Hilton Company, it is recommended that we set this parameter 16 to 1. The default is 0, but it is recommended to set it to 1 while using in FIBAR home center for correct communication between the home center and the thermostat. Parameter number three is somehow technical and I suggest you not changing this item. Parameter number four defines temperature difference to send Z wave network. And by default, it is set to parameter number five, 0 0.2 in Celsius. It means that whenever the temperature of the environment is changed by 0 0.2, the device sends the temperature to the gateway or to the home center. Parameter number five, by using this uh, item, we can set the time in thermostat. By default, it is set to zero, which means the gateway should adjust the time in the thermostat. If we set it to zero, we should manually set the time using parameter number six, seven, eight, nine. Six is for time format, seven is for week of day, eight is for hour, and nine is for minutes. Later, I will have another video showing how you can set the time in thermostat and how you can use uh, the time mode and change its settings. Let's skip this part. Parameter number 12. Yeah. 12. 
I want to see the value of this parameter. Here I click read only and I click on save. I go to devices. Receive parameter. Well, its value is zero. This activates and it activates auto brightness of the display. Zero means it is inactive. By default, it is active. And you can change it here. I set it as one, which means active, and I press save. When this item is active, if you do not use the display, uh, the thermostat, the brightness of display is darker. And by touching any button, is brighter. Let me disable it for continuing our video. Prevent it from going to, let's say, sleep mode. Parameter 10 and parameter 11. Uh, parameter 10 defines that uh, the brightness level of active display and parameter 11 defines the brightness and level of inactive display. By default parameter number 10 is set to 4 and 11 is set to 3 and it's a must that you should never use parameter 11 bigger than 10. It must be equal or less than parameter number 10. This was a brief manual of how you can use Elton thermostat in Fibar Home Center. This thermostat has child lock by touching and holding the speed button. The thermostat is locked and none of the button buttons work. And if you want to unlock it, you should touch and hold the speed button again. And as I told you here, the strength of the Z-Wave signal is displayed. Okay. Let me show you how you can remove this device from a Fibar Home Center. In Home Center, we go to Devices, Add or Remove Devices. At the bottom of the page, in the Delete Device section. If I click on Delete, the Home Center goes to Exclusion mode for 30 seconds and it gets ready to remove devices from it. Here, using the thermostat, you should touch and hold the setting button to activate the setting menu. Go to parameter 17. And by touching minus, the exclusion procedure is started. I click delete and touch minus. Now the thermostat is removed the home center and ACL is displayed. Okay, if you want to reset the thermostat to its factory default, you should touch and hold the mode button for eight seconds.
Here it asks us whether we want to confirm to reset or refuse it. No means exit. And touching speed means no. And touching plus means yes, reset. Thermostat to its factory is default. Touching plus. Now thermostat is reset. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to ask me. Have a good day.